Hello students. Today we will learn about handling data. In this we will learn reading, interpreting and drawing of a bar graph. First of all we should know what is data. Data is a collection of information. Handling data means collecting and recording information and then presenting in the form of pictographs, bar graphs, tally charts, etc. First of all, we will learn about bar graph. What is a bar graph? Bar graph is used to represent data using rectangles or bars. There are three important parts of bar graph. First is the title of bar graph that tells us what the bar graph is about. Here in this example the title is favorite subject that is written on the top of the graph. Second is labels. Before we begin with labels let us know that there are two axes which helps us to present our information through bar graph. First is x-axis, second is y-axis. The x-axis is called the horizontal axis which is also known as sleeping line and the y-axis is also called vertical axis that is standing line. On x-axis you can see the subjects that is social studies, math, science and English. Y-axis shows number of people. So subjects and number of people are the labels. Next we have scale. You can see numbers from 0 to 12 on y-axis. These numbers have an interval of 1. Therefore, the numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Please note the intervals can change. For example, if I take the interval of 5, my scale will be 0, 5, 10, 15 and so on. To understand bar graph better, let's do some questions. Here we can see that the title of the graph is favorite sports of students. X-axis shows sports and Y-axis shows number of students. And here we have taken an interval of 10. Therefore, the numbers written on Y-axis are 10, 20, 30 and so on. Let's do the questions based on this bar graph. Question number one. How many students like to play badminton? Here we can see that the height of the bar that shows the sport badminton reaches up to the scale 30. Therefore, the answer will be 30 students like to play 
बैडमिंटन लेट्स डू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू विच इज द मोस्ट पॉपुलर स्पोर्ट एमंग द स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी विल कंपेयर द हाइट ऑफ ईच पार दैट रिप्रेजेंट स्पोर्ट्स वी कैन सी द हाइएस्ट बार इज ऑफ क्रिकेट दैट रीच इज अप टू द स्केल ऑफ एटी देर फोर द आंसर विल बी क्रिकेट क्रिकेट इज द मोस्ट पॉपुलर स्पोर्ट एमंग द स्टूडेंट्स we will do question number 3 that is which is the least popular sport among the students again we will compare the heights of each bar that represents sports here we can see the lowest bar is of hockey that reaches up to the scale of 20 therefore the answer will be hockey hockey is the least popular sport among the students let's do question number 4 how many more students like tennis than football here we can see that the height of the bar that shows the sport tennis reaches up to the scale of 75 that is between 70 and 80 and the height of the bar that shows the sport football reaches up to the scale of 40 so we will subtract 40 from 75 to know the more number of students who like to play tennis than football so 75 minus 40 is equal to 35 therefore 35 more students like to play tennis than football now we will learn about drawing of a bar graph while preparing the bar graph we should keep few things in mind first mention the title of the bar graph next label the x axis and y axis of the graph third always mention the scale fourth the width of all the bars should be same fifth the space between the consecutive bars is always the same here the data of number of different types of flowers in a bouquet is given we have to draw a bar graph using this data now while drawing of a bar graph we should mention the title on the top of the graph that is flowers in a bouquet now label the x and y axis here the types of flowers are represented on x axis and represent number of flowers on y axis after that take an interval of 2 on y axis therefore the numbers are 0 2 4 6 8 and so on on y axis now 
bars can be drawn by looking at the above data. Here we can see there are 10 roses in a bouquet of flowers. So we will draw a bar that reaches up to the height of scale 10. Same way we will draw a bar for lilies that reaches up to the height of scale 14. For asters draw a bar that reaches up to the height of scale 6 and for tulips draw a bar that reaches up to the height of scale 8. We should keep in mind that the width of all the bars should be same and the space between the consecutive bars is always the same. So this is the way we draw a bar graph for given data. In this video we have learnt about reading and drawing of a bar graph. Thank you.